I'm going to show you a free AI tool that you can use to train any AI on yourself or anybody. It's never been easier to create an AI version of yourself. After training, you can have that AI in any situation, environment, or have them anywhere in the universe. This can be great for creating low-level AI influencers or YouTube thumbnails. If you're interested in this, you might as well hit the subscribe button now because I'll be making more videos on AI that will help you make money, improve your business, and save you time. I'll do all the research for you so you don't have to. Hit the subscribe button. Let's get started. We're going to start by going to artflow.ai. This is the site that we're going to be using to create our consistent characters. So we're going to go to image studio. Then we're just going to go to create your first image. So we're going to start with step one here. Just go to create characters. And now we need to describe our character. That's just going to be me. It's going to be yourself. So just describe yourself in the best way that you can. I put Asian American male with black hair. If you have a beard, say that you have a beard. I would not add like any accessories. So if you're we're wearing sunglasses, don't do anything with sunglasses or earrings or anything like that. We don't want to confuse the AI. We want to make it as simple as we can. So then once we have that, we're going to go to add consistent face. So just choose, choose face. Okay. So in this, you can choose the actors that they already have here, but we want to make our own. We're different. We want to go to characters, go to train actor. It'll open up a new window and we just click create your AI actor. And now this is kind of where we train and input and upload our images of ourselves to help train the AI. So make sure you adjust your actor gender. We have male here and adults actor name. We're just going to put Nick. And now this is the most important part for AI image generation on characters is the images that you give it. If you give crappy quality images, you're going to get a crappy output. So here on the right, it explains what are acceptable pictures. Of course, images of the same person face uncovered. So you don't want to be wearing any sunglasses. Don't be wearing an eye patch, different backgrounds, angles, facial expressions, and light conditions. You just want to have a different variety of images. So you don't want to go into the bathroom and take 20 images in the same position. You want to have a, a variety of images, but good images. So I started off with these three images here, but then I went ahead and just went around my house with different lighting and just took different pictures of myself, different angles, different facial expressions. I don't think that these images vary enough. I'm wearing the same shirt in every one, but this is all I have so far. So if you want good AI training images for yourself, if you're out and about, just take a picture of yourself. You could do this throughout the entire day and you'll have great images image training data, but I don't have that right now. So we're just going to go with these anyway. So these aren't the best images for training, but we're just going to go with it. And for the images that we don't want, you don't want any group photos. This is just going to confuse the AI. That's not going to know who you're going for extreme angles like this one, where you can barely see the face. This picture here is just too far zoomed out. And this one is covered with sunglasses. It also says not to include nudes. And they say all your uploaded images will be immediately deleted from their servers after the training is finished. So once we have our photos uploaded, we just hit start training. Now it might take a while. This is telling me that due to extremely large traffic, it's going to take about uh, one to two hours. So we're just going to wait for that to finish. And we're just going to look at the plans here while we're waiting. So you can do this all for free. You get one free AI actor training where I'm using up my one free training right now. And in your free plan, you get 100 credits a month. And it looks like 100 credits gives you about 100 images. And of course, if you want more, you could always get the starter plan or the pro plan. Plan. This video isn't sponsored. I'm just going over the plans. And while we're waiting, I'm just scrolling through what is possible here with this. So it looks like you can put your actors into different outfits different worlds, different situations. We can make ourselves into a Ken Barbie doll. And if you click into this, you can actually see what kind of prompts they're using for this. Aiden as Ken doll, chilling on the beach in summer shorts and Hawaiian shirt, holding a drink, beach party. So this is our positive prompt, but then we have our negative prompt, which is everything that we don't want included. So if we wanted this Ken Barbie doll look, we would have our positive prompts, the things that we do want. Everything that we don't want would be an extreme close up finger, and I like how they excluded fingers because AI image generation is still not very good at generating hands. Sometimes it'll get it, but a lot of the time it won't. We don't want a bubble head, a real photo, a realistic person. I just think it's good for you to know what a positive and a negative prompt is. And then once we have our AI trained, we can actually do things with video here. All right. And after about an hour, we now have our trained actor here. And if we go to try and create a, another AI actor, it's going to tell us that we have to pay for 
for it. So we just used up our one free actor training. And if we want any more, we got to pay. Uh, but we have this now. So let's just go to create image. And it actually creates some images for us. At the top right, we could see these here. Now there's a few problems with it. I can see now. Like here, you can see the eye is just a little bit messed up. What is this, Harry Potter? This one here is probably the best one. I'm noticing that the skin is not very textured, but the hair here looks pretty good. Okay, these aren't looking too bad. This isn't my hairstyle though. I, I've never had, well, yeah, I've had a hairstyle like this. Didn't last very long. This one looks pretty decent. So let's take a look at the hands. How many fingers do we got? One, two, three, four, five. The hands aren't looking too great, especially on this one. Okay, so now that we have our AI trained on ourselves, we wanna try messing with some prompts here. So let's adjust this prompt here. We're gonna use start, we're gonna start with at Nick so it knows to use our AI actor that we made. Then we're gonna put in, we're gonna go for a, a, a YouTube Mr. Beast type thumbnail. Cause I think one of the best use cases for something like this is for YouTube thumbnails. So we're gonna pull up a Mr. Beast thumbnail and, and we're just gonna copy it. Let's do this one here with the lasers. Now I'm gonna show you a little trick where we can use chat GPT to kind of describe the thumbnail that we have. So we're gonna right click and copy the link address of this video. We're gonna go to Google and type in YouTube thumbnail grabber. Click the first one here and we're going to paste in the YouTube URL. going to give us a high quality version of this thumbnail from Mr. Beast. Right click it, save image. Then we're going to drag this thumbnail into chat GPT and we're going to say, turn this YouTube thumbnail into a prompt that an AI image generation tool like Stable Diffusion would understand. And we're just going to hit enter and we're only going to copy what we need here. So let's copy this all the way down to the end. Control C to copy, go back into art flow here and place a comma on the prompt and then paste the prompt that we got from ChatGBT. Now we can cut out the part where it's talking about the look of Mr. Beast. So we're going to cut out the short brown hair part, the beard part, because uh, I can't grow a beard. And I'm going to add in exaggerated facial expressions because that's what YouTube thumbnails are all about. We're going to take out smiling face because I don't want to smile. Let's just put in lying down, wearing a distressed white t-shirt with visible rips and simulated flames at the edge of the holes. The background is a digital and futuristic with dark blue neon lines crossing over a dark backdrop that resembles a laser grid or digital matrix. And let's add in at Nick avoiding bright blue neon lasers. And I think this should be good. Now they also have something called a director mode, which allows you to adjust this little guy here to wherever you want. So wherever we put this is where my AI guy, me, Nick, is going to be. So we can go to the bottom here and actually adjust the composition. Let's make this an extreme close up. Let's, uh, let's place me right here. Now we won't be able to choose an actor here. So we just want to make sure that you have your at Nick or whatever you use as the name for your actor. Now, is there anything that we want to exclude from the image? This is our negative prompt. So for example, we don't want me to be nude. We don't want any tractors in the image. I'm just using this as an example to demonstrate what a negative prompt is. And there's nothing really else that I can think of. For style, we want to make this realistic. So go down and choose realistic. And I think that should be it. So let's just hit generate and see what happens. We now have our image generations and this is not exactly what we were going for here. So instead of using chat GPT to create our prompt, let's just, let's just go wild with it. So let's do at Nick lying on floor, avoiding dangerous, neon blue lasers, shirt being torn apart by lasers, at Nick lying on floor, voiding lasers, exaggerated facial expression, open mouth. Let's just see what happens if it, if it does an open mouth, because I don't think I had any open mouth images in the training data. So it'll be interesting to see what it comes up with. Let's see anything else. I've heard fire seems to do good in YouTube thumbnails. So we're just going to add some flames somewhere. Flames coming from shirt rips. I hope it understands that. And for the negative prompt, um, it looks like we're kind of standing in these images or sitting one of those. So we're just going to, we're going to add in standing in the negative prompt. This is one of the things about AI image generation is that you're not going to get it right the first time. You kind of do run after run and see what you need to adjust. So we, we know here that we need to add some things maybe to the negative prompt and some things to the positive prompt to get closer and closer to what we're looking for. I also don't like how it's kind of giving me gray hairs. So I'm also going to add in gray hairs into the negative prompt. And I also think that it's mistakening neon, the word neon for like neon lights. I don't want lights. I want actual dangerous lasers. So we're going to take out any word of 
neon here. I think I used it twice, maybe. Yeah, we're gonna take out the word neon and we're gonna add in neon lights in the negative prompt. Let's go into director mode again and some adjustments. I wish I could like make this character lying, lying down, like rotate it maybe. Okay, so I made my character here on director mode extremely close and let's hit generate. And here are our image generations. Uh, not Still not exactly what we're going for. It looks like it's mistakening the lasers for fireworks now. So again, we're gonna go to our negative prompt and we're gonna add in fireworks. Maybe it's the director mode messing with it. So we might turn this off for this one. It looks like it got the open mouth part kinda right. It doesn't know what I look like with my mouth open because I didn't give it any training images with my mouth open. So it's kind of just guessing what the inside of my mouth looks like. Uh, like my, my teeth do not look like this. So let's try turning off director mode and with the fireworks added in the negative prompt, let's hit generate and see what happens. Okay, so we're actually getting somewhere here. This is a lot closer. I'm loving the exaggerated facial expressions. There's just not enough lasers. We need to tell it exactly how many lasers need to be on screen. Let's go back to our positive prompt here and let's see, where are the lasers? And let's do generate. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere here. I think this bottom right one is the best we've gotten so far. We can probably get a little bit closer. I know we can get a little bit closer to what we're looking for if we mess with the prompt a little bit. You know, this is this is decent. So I would say Artflow AI is the easiest solution if you're looking for ease of use and creating consistent AI characters or AI influencers. Uh, it's especially good for YouTube thumbnails. Like I could actually see myself using these. As for AI influencers, it's going to be a little bit more tricky. You're really going to have to nail the training because the biggest part with AI influencers is that it has to, has to, has to be consistent all across the board in every situation that they're in. And I'm not so sure if a web app like this is there yet. Because to have good consistency in your AI influencer, it's gonna take a lot of training, adjusting, retraining, filtering out a, a bunch of images. And it's just gonna be, it, it, you're gonna go through hundreds and hundreds of images to find the, the best ones. And it's gonna be kind of costly if you're using something like this. But if you're using an open source tool like Comfy UI or Comfy or, or Koya, then it's basically free. And creating high quality, consistent AI influencers is what my AI marketing agency is doing now. So if you're in need of creating your own AI influencer or any kind of AI marketing images that you need, we can help you out with that. I'll leave a link in the description for you if you want to work with us. If you want more of these kind of videos, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I'll see you in the next video.